It's the biggest culinary competition in Canadian history. Honoring this country's greatest home cooks. You have no idea how it feels to actually realize your dream. I won MasterChef Canada. It happened to me. Now, once again, Canadians from all walks of life are starting their journey. I'm an insurance broker, but all I want to do in life is cook. Willing to leave everything behind. I'm doing it for my girls, to make them proud of me. Daddy loves you. To embark on an adventure. I'm going because I'm going to win for you. That will change their lives forever. I have a dream, and I refuse to stop until I achieve that dream. That dream has brought 40 of Canada's best home cooks to Toronto. I'm here because I'm meant to cook. Yeah! <laughs> My dream's coming true. I'm actually here doing this. I'm in the top 40 out of thousands of people in Canada. I'm going to win this thing. I'm here to go from a home cook to a world famous chef. But first, they'll have to audition for the country's biggest culinary stars. Michael Bonaccini, Alvin Lung, and Claudio Aprile. Only the best will move forward. Your time starts now! To the MasterChef Canada kitchen. Each week, they'll be tested like never before. The firefighters are ready to eat, and they are hungry! Welcome to Casa Loma. You'll be cooking for the country's fashion elite. Guys, I need help. Get over here. They'll cook for great Canadian chefs. It's truly wonderful to see so much talent in one room. Great Canadian heroes. What? The first Canadian astronaut to walk in space. Colonel Chris Hadfield. And at great Canadian restaurants. Service. How can you serve raw lobster? Unacceptable. Get a cup, get a cup. Throw this, throw that, go. Creating food that will exceed all expectations. Absolutely delicious. I put it on one of my menus. Perfect. Never second guess yourself. This is next level. Kaboom. They'll face fears. <sighs> Oh my God. And overcome obstacles in a quest for the ultimate prize of $100,000 and the life changing title of MasterChef Canada. It's audition day at MasterChef Canada. I've been waiting for this opportunity for my whole life, and it's my time to show what I can do. And all 40 home cooks have one goal in mind I want to be Canada's next MasterChef. I'm super excited to meet the judges. Welcome. This is the third season of the biggest culinary competition this country has ever seen, MasterChef Canada. There's 40 extraordinary home cooks in this very room. And up here, I've got 40 crisp white aprons. It's obvious that you all want an apron. But first, you have to earn it. And that's where your signature dish comes in. As usual, the three of us will be judging your dishes one by one in the tasting room. But this year, there's a bit of a twist. <laughs> there will be three possible outcomes. Best case scenario, is that you'll get three yeses, one from each of us, and you'll automatically advance to be part of the top 14 of this competition. Yeah. Worst scenario, three no's, and you're out the door. But those of you who get a yes from at least one of us will cook again, earning a second chance to get that white apron and potentially proceed in this competition. So get ready to blow us away! The home cooks now have one hour to prep their signature dish for the judges. There's absolutely nothing more important than this dish right now. And this season, it will be harder to move forward than ever before. Not getting an apron is not an option for me. Only those who get a yes from all three judges will earn an apron and immediately advance to the top 14. I'm not getting less than three yeses today. I came here to win. Everybody better watch out because I could very well be Canada's next master chef. <laughs> 
The first home cook to try for an apron is Vince, a general contractor from Pickering, Ontario. Being the father of two sets of twins is, is fantastic. I married this beautiful woman over here, and then she gave me four beautiful little girls, and then I got a girl dog. <laughs> I'm doing this for the women in my life because there's a whole whack of them. <laughs> I'm making eggplant parmigiana. Grandmother used to make this all the time. I'm gonna exchange this apron for a white one with my name on it. It's a great opportunity. I really gotta chase this right now. Here comes our first home cook of the season. Hello there. Hello, chefs. What's your name? My name is Vince. And what you're cooking for us today? I'm making an eggplant parmigiana with a side arugula salad on a parmigiano crisp. Vince, are you Sicilian? <laughs> what gave it away? <laughs> is this something you cook at home a lot? I made it many, many times for my girls, for my wife. How old are the girls? I have two sets of twins, chef. Oh, wow. wow. A set that is 10 years old. I have a set that is six years old. I picked up cooking after my wife had the second set, and I haven't really stopped and I enjoy it. What's your food dream, Vince? Open a private supper club. I just want to give people the ultimate entertainment experience. All I want is for people around me to be happy. That's it. So, Vince, who inspires you? My kids are my drive. Everything I do, I do for them, and I want to take on this other part of my life to show them that there really are no limits, and they can do pretty much whatever they want. Are you finished or are you just getting started? I'm just getting started. I don't plan on leaving. Hi there, Vince. Walk me through very quickly how you put it together. Basically layered. First layer of sauce, a little bit of basil, parmesan. Then I put a layer of eggplant, a piece of prosciutto cotto. I put a piece of mozzarella, going three-tiered. Prosciutto cotto is a nice little twist to it. You know what you're doing. Vince. Chef. So when I dig into this, what am I expected to see? It's going to be meaty all the way around, crisp on top, authentic Italian dish. Tomato sauce give a very good acidity. You have eggplants with the perfect texture. And you got the cheese and the ham to complement all this, binding everything together. And your description is 100% accurate. Well, this is pretty. Is this the kind of food that you make for your family? 100%. My family really appreciates when I cook like this for them. Isn't it ironic? that the one thing that you make for your family might actually take you away from your family. Vince, you know, a good chef knows exactly what they want to give. But most important, they have to deliver. You deliver. So for me, it's definitely a yes. Thank you, chef. Vince, it's your eggplant parmigiana. It was delicious, so it's a big yes from me. Well done. Thank you. Vince, you need me to say yes in order for you to get this apron. The problem with eggplant parmigiana, it has a tendency to be heavy and greasy. Yours, on the other hand, was so light, and the prosciutto, it was absolutely succulent. For me, it's a yes. The eggplant parmigiana was the best I ever had. I came here to earn this apron, and I did. I did it right, I did it the way I wanted to do it, and I'm wearing it. Look, look, look what I have. I gotta show them that they can do whatever the hell they want. Whenever they wanna do it, they can do it. Whole new page for me and my family. The next home cook aiming for an apron is Veronica, 
a lawyer from Toronto. Because I'm a lawyer, I am in front of judges all the time, and I'm used to working under pressure. I'm hiring lard to put into the shrimp dumplings. I am making a traditional Chinese dumpling called the ha gao. It's made out of shrimp, and mine are going to look like goldfish. I'm very happy with the way my filling tastes. My dough feels perfect. Uh, this is exactly what I wanted. My goal in life is to become a Michelin inspector. A Michelin inspector is someone that basically identifies what the best restaurants in the world are. I'm getting three yeses for this dish. I know what good food is, and this is good food. It's going to be so awesome when the judges see my plate. I'm sure they all know what a hot gao is. I don't think they've ever seen one that looks like mine. Hello, hello. 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 What's your name? My name's Veronica. And what are you making, Veronica? Dim sum hot gao, to be exact. It's a shrimp dumpling. Dim sum in Chinese means a touch of heart. And and I like the idea that you put a lot of heart into every little bite. Why are you here? I have a 20-year plan, and I believe that winning MasterChef Canada will give me an express pass to the finish line. What's the finish line? The finish line is I want to be a Michelin inspector. The only person that would scare me more than a lawyer is a Michelin inspector. So if you become both, I will bow before you. <laughs> what was the inspiration for doing this particular dumpling dish? I saw this beautiful blue plate, which reminded me of a pond. And my grandfather actually had a koi pond when I was growing up. What do you know about Italian, French, other cuisines? Making pasta is not all that hard. You put it in the thing, you roll it out, and I think I can handle that. But pulling noodles, that's a real skill. Where do you get this confidence from? I am a lawyer. I'm used to being in front of judges. I know what good food tastes like, I know what good food is, and I think I have a Michelin quality dish right here. I'm done. This looks absolutely wonderful. Thank you. Well, you've made it look like a koi. Beautiful, and the wrapper just glistens there really nicely. You have bamboo shoots in here? No, I don't have bamboo shoots in there. So I actually put carrots in there as well as shiitake mushrooms. So you believe in adding a little twist to make them your own? I do believe in doing that. Interesting. Interesting. Thank you very much. Thank you. Veronica! Wow, that looks impressive. You know, you have all the details there. It looks like a beautiful pond. You pick the most difficult dim sum, ha gao. I remember a quote from you a long time ago where you said the ha gao wrapper is the most delicious thing in dim sum. So I brought you a ha gao wrapper. Well, it's true I said that, but it has to be the best ha gao wrapper. I happen. spent eight years learning how to make ha gao and perfecting it. After all that work, this is the moment. Why? I'm impressed. Thank you. I'm impressed. That means a lot. I can taste the shrimp filling. It's perfectly cooked. The texture, just right. The wrap is, to me, perfect. It's translucent. It has a bite. Chewy, not sticky. Thank you. I love the dish. I love confidence. Yes. But you have to be able to back that up. I'm 100% sure that this is a good dish, not because I'm conceited, but because I know good food. Good. It's not the best I've ever had, though. Really? No. Veronica, everything in that plate, I like. So, it's a yes from me. Thank you. Veronica, I'm going to keep things very short. I am fascinated by that confidence. I think the dish was a great dish, so it's going to be a yes from me. Thank you. So now I'm the last man standing between you and one of these aprons. You told us that you spent eight years perfecting that dish. Yes. In the MasterChef Canada kitchen, you don't even have hours sometimes, you have minutes. And I'm not convinced that you have the arsenal of ideas that can get you through at this point. I'm a lawyer, I'm always thinking on my feet. I'm always in front of judges, I can do this. Well, like any judge, I need proof. Unfortunately, this means no. But not all is lost. You have a second opportunity now to cook again. Understood. Well, Veronica, I'm really surprised Claudio said no. I have complete confidence in you. So go out there and prove Claudio wrong. Thank you. 
I'm not going home. I'm keep that in mind, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to do that. Next up is Mary, an insurance broker from Toronto. I guess I kind of fell into being an insurance broker, but food is my passion. It's all I think about all day. I'm here for me, and I'm here for my mom. I was raised by a single mother. I can't express to anybody how awesome she is. I've always tried to help her, and really, I took over the kitchen. Mary's been cooking for me and the whole family since she was about eight years old. I've always kind of done the, the right and responsible things. Mom, that, you're a terrible high-fiver, but I love you so much. <laughs> but this is my dream, and this is my time. Now it's time to see if Mary can earn three S's and a coveted white apron from the judges. Hi there. Hi. What's your name? My name's Mary. And what are you cooking for us today? Uh, lemon meringue pie. Sounds lovely. You've got a little less than five minutes to get it done. Okay, perfect. Mary, when did you start cooking? I started cooking when I was about four years old. Why did you start so late? <laughs> so late? Actually, I was in a, uh, my family was in a car accident when I was four. Uh, my mom and brother were both seriously injured. I wasn't. My dad passed away in the accident. Sorry to hear that. Thank you. I'm an A-type personality, so I always want to be there for people, and it's just kind of how I show them how I care. What do you do for a living? I'm an insurance broker, which uh, helped me when I wrecked my first uh, pie tart back out there. So I had insurance, and I made a second one. What's your culinary dream? I would love to run a catering business. I love sharing my food with people that I care about, and I want people to understand that you can make really good food at home and have a great time while you're making it. I say the same. Yeah. There's my dish. <laughs> well, right off the top, you put together a dish that looks, I think, absolutely wonderful. Let's have a taste. Outstanding. Thank you very much. Rich, creamy meringue, the zingy, fresh flavors with the berries, that crunchy texture of the spun sugar, and the crispiness of that pastry. Just a wonderful, wonderful dessert. Thank you. <laughs> For me, a lemon meringue, the hardest part is to make sure that the fill is not lumpy. So let me give it a try. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Smooth as silk. <laughs> Just a bit of meringue here. Mm -hmm. Got the right consistency. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit more color burnt to, you know, to take a little bit away from the sugar, but this is amazing. Thank you so much. This is beautiful. Thank you very much. This meringue is delicious, but it's very rich. Yes. In order for this to work, the tart needs to be tart. Yes. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Well, Mary, I think we're going to keep this short and sweet. For me, it's a hands down yes. OK. Yes. Oh, my god. OK. <laughs> I'm no fool. When I see talent, I know it. And you have that talent. So it's a yes. Oh, my god. Come up here and grab okay. your apron. Ah! <laughs> I bet you got so many people running at you. Thank you. Oh my God. We're excited ah, to see what you do next. Okay. You have really earned this. Thank you. So, welcome Thank you so to much. Master Chef Canada. I feel like I'm dreaming. I feel like I'm going to wake up and I'm going to be like, oh, this never happened. But it is happening, and I am so excited. The MasterChef Canada auditions. The home cooks all share a single dream. I am here to win MasterChef Canada. My food dream is this close. But it hinges on getting three yeses and an apron. Why do you want to be here? My food dream is to publish my own cookbook. I love food. Food's my life. I've wanted this for a really, really long time. I feel at this time in my life, I'm ready to start a new chapter. MasterChef Canada has been a dream for me since I can remember. Sorry, I'm a little emotional. I've seen this dish 101 times. I'd have loved to have seen something a little more innovative and creative. MasterChef Canada is about raising the bar. It's about pushing standards. Overall presentation, it needs a lot more thought. Do you think in your heart of hearts that you're ready to be here? I really, really am. Really? 
because you look terrified. I am. It gets much, much harder. It's a good try. You made it to the top 40, and you should be proud of that. Every single year, the bar gets higher and higher. We would be doing you a disservice if we gave you a yes right now. All I would do is encourage you to continue to cook, because I get a sense that you love it. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Super proud of you. Uh, my confidence, they got in the way. Yeah, it's, it's just they didn't feel like I was ready for it yet. So that's OK. That's OK. It's never easy to tell somebody that they can't have what they so desperately want. Are we being a bit tough? No, I don't think so. This is season three, bar's race. We've only got 14 spots, and they better be the right ones. Absolutely. Jennifer, a salon manager from Maple, Ontario, is hoping to turn things around and score a coveted white apron. Growing up with hard of hearing parents forced me to be the interpreter of the family, which is okay. I love to sign. I think it's beautiful. About seven years ago, my parents separated. Since then, I took it upon myself to cook for my father and my brother, Victor. I am here to win the title of Master Chef Canada. I want to change my life. I want to change my family's lives. I want to prove to myself that I am something. Hi there. What's your name? My name is Jennifer Baglione. And what are you cooking for us today? Risotto topped with a Bella Vitano formaggio. Is this dish a family favorite? Yes. They are the essence of who I am. We struggled a bit growing up, and I really took it upon myself to be the mother of the family. Why would such a young person have such a responsibility bestowed upon them? My father is hard of hearing. Despite his uh, handicap, he uh, has a fantastic job. And he works way too hard to come home to a mediocre meal. If you were to win, what is your dream? My father has pretty much killed himself to give me the life that he feels I deserve. So ultimately, I want to take care of him. You know, I want him to retire. Are you almost finished? Because you have about 10 seconds left. And I'm done. Woo! See how it glistens? That's beautiful, isn't it? That's a good sign for a risotto. Delicious. A rich base to it, the mushrooms, the foundation. The rice is still a little loose. Just a tiny little firmness to it. And then the cheese that sort of rounds things out and richens it up. You've taken on a lot over the years. It's almost as if you've put your life on hold to take care of everyone else's around you. Yes, Chef. Up until this very moment. Thank you. Hi, Jennifer. You're cooking rice to a Chinese judge. Yes. How do you feel? I feel pretty confident. Rice is very important to the Chinese because it's a symbol of life. And this is the symbol of love. So, you're the mother hen in your home. Yes, I am. I wear that title proudly. How many times have you made risotto for your dad? Close to 100. Close to 100. At least. Cheese has a nice bite, creamy, delicious. You both sure? So Jennifer, it is crystal clear to the three of us that the guiding force in your life is your father. That's my papa. <laughs> well, Michael, Alvin, and myself would be honored to meet him. Is that possible? Is he here today? Yes, he is. We would love to meet him. OK. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> they want to meet you. <laughs> this is my father. <laughs> Jennifer, what's your father's name? My father's name is Luciano. Can you translate something to Luciano for us? Absolutely. Please tell him that the three of us think that you are an exceptional cook. Thank 
Thank you. <laughs> and what the three of us would like to give you is this apron. <laughs> Please come up and get it. <laughs> I always thought I would be nobody, that I'd be left in the dark. And uh, now I know I'm not going to, and I'm, I'm just so happy. So far, only three home cooks have earned three S's and an apron. I am so excited. The next four are determined to do the same. Hello. <laughs> you guys are so far. <laughs> but can they convince the judges they have what it takes? What are you cooking for us today? Coriander chicken, pork tenderloin with fennel and sourdough stuffing. Jasmine tea smoked salmon in a miso dashi broth. You have two minutes. Yes, chef. Ooh, I like that sound of that. Oh, he's flirting with you. <laughs> we asked for you on a plate. <laughs> Mission accomplished. This is you on a plate. Hello. The chicken is, is beautifully moist. It's been cooked to perfection. However, it lacks in a little salt. This dish reminds me of something that I've done. Really, chef? It looks a lot like my food. Clean, fresh. There's just one thing I don't like. The fish is overcooked. That's an easy mistake to make. The stuffing, juicy, flavorful. I would be very happy if I was eating that at home. But it's a master chef quality. Jacqueline? I am really mixed on this. I'd like to see something that is just a little bit more refined. It okay. just wasn't white apron winning worthy for me. I want to see you cook again. Well, you're going to get a second chance. Don't waste it. I won't. You have a second chance to cook for us. Use it wisely. Thank you. Yes, chef. You know what you did wrong, right? You're getting a second chance to cook again. Thank you. Thank you, chefs. Next up are April Lee and Jeremy, two home cooks from the prairies determined to turn the tide and meet the judges' high standards. The white apron represents my future. I want to put Calgary on the map. We love farm to table food, and I'm going to show the rest of Canada that. My food dream is to be at the top of the Winnipeg food scene. I learned to make sushi by myself. I taught myself the white apron would mean everything to me. Hello there. What's your name? I'm Jeremy. April Lee. What are you making today? Crispy skin duck breast on a bed of kabocha squash with a little bit of ginger. A shrimp tempura roll. It's pretty traditional, but I'm doing my own garnishes on it. Spicy mayo with lime zest, green onions, and bonito flakes. The honey is from my beehive. I just moved out to an acreage. So you produce your own products? Part of my MasterChef Canada dream is I want to win so I can do a farm-to-table restaurant. Tell me about yourself. What was your upbringing like? My parents are immigrants from the Philippines. They sacrificed a lot so that we could have what we have. My mom, I lost her to cancer. I have her tattooed on my arm, and I know that she would be proud watching me here today. And I'm done. April Lee. The color on the duck is perfect, seasoned beautifully. Your dish was a knockout. It's an absolute yes. Thank you. Jeremy. Great textures, flavors, the precision of it. It was delicious, so it's a big yes from me. Yes, thank you, chef. It's up to me now, isn't it? You need me to say yes to get this apron. <laughs> I love what's on that plate. Yes! I hope you have some room on that arm for the Master Chef Canada tattoo. Yes! Welcome to the top 14. I won't let you down. April Lee and Jeremy earned their white aprons and an express pass to the top 14. My dreams are coming true. This apron is going to change my life forever. Sean, an auto worker from London, Ontario, also wants to change his life. Been in automotive for uh, 26 years now, but I'm meant to cook food for people, make them happy, and make them smile. Who the hell doesn't love steak? My food dream is to own my own taco food truck. My wife, she's gonna be right there with me, helping me. You're beautiful. She's the love of my life. You guys can try that bacon. I love bacon almost as much as I love my wife. <laughs>
when they get this white apron tonight, my dreams start coming true. It's time. What's your name? My name is Sean Hickey. What are you making today? A pan-seared prime rib steak, a spiral deep-fried potato. That's going to be rolled in some maple bacon sea salt. Five minutes starts now. So when did you discover a passion for cooking? Fresh out of high school, I uh, got a job as a line cook. Then I got an opportunity to go work in automotive, and I've been there over 20 years. Do you enjoy that work? Not at all. At least he's honest. <laughs> <laughs> Are you turning a mushroom there? Yes, I am. That is a lost wow. art, my friend, a lost art. <laughs> wow. Anything else you can cook, Sean? Uh, yeah, I can cook chicken, fish, cook game, sushi. I can bake, not as well as my wife, but I can hold my own. But I'm a steak and potato kind of guy. Why are you here? I want to own my own food truck. I want this in the worst kind of way. This is definitely what you said you were, a meat and potatoes type of guy. You got it. What's the color that you were looking for? Medium rare. Are you sure it's medium rare? I'm hoping so. Awesome. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Delicious. Tender, juicy, but needs a little more salt. But overall, the meat is, is delicious. Hi, Sean. Hello, Chef. This is your standard meat and potato, right? I can tell you this steak is nicely done. Thank you. Potato, it's just not crispy. It's steak and potato. You want to elevate it, make a nice sauce, bechamel sauce, a bernese sauce. Then we will be impressed. Interesting uh, plating approach. An older uh, school style. Maybe matches the same era as the turned mushrooms. Nicely done on that. Beautiful and tender. But as I think Claudio pointed out, a little under seasoned, huh? A little bit, yeah. Thank you, Sean. Thank you. Well, Sean, I think you have a lot to learn. Master Chef is more than steak potatoes. So I'm a no. Sean, the steak was nicely cooked. Presentation just a little bit too plain Jane. It didn't tip the scales enough for me to say a yes. It has to be a no, I'm afraid. Sorry, Sean. All right, Sean. I do agree with Alvin. Master Chef is more than just steak and potatoes. But I see something in you. I think you have more than just steak and potatoes. Am I right? You know it. Are there a few flaws? Yes. But we can smooth those out. So I'm a yes. You're going to get a second chance to cook again. I can't wait to see what you do next. So go tell your family the good news. I live to see another day. I got another chance. This is not over yet. Our last home cook of the day is Terry, a Nigerian immigrant from Edmonton, Alberta. I came to Canada six years ago. It's amazing. There's no way else I'd rather be in the world. I'm currently a PhD law student, but cooking has always been my passion. Almost all my life, I've done things to please my parents, and there's nothing wrong with that. They deserve it. But I feel it's time I do something for Terry, and Terry, Loves cooking, Terry loves baking, Terry is good at this. <laughs> Canada gives you the opportunity to be who you want to be, and I'm going to do all it takes to win MasterChef Canada. What's your name? 
My name is Terry. And what are you making today? I'm making a spiced pumpkin roulade with a pecan cream cheese frosting. Where are you from, Terry? I'm originally from Nigeria, but I'm now based in Edmonton, Canada. I've been here for the past six years. I'm a PhD law student, but I love cooking. I love baking more than cooking, and I'm... Sorry, rewind, you're a law student. I'm a PhD law student. PhD? Yeah. Yes, wow. I am. It's incredible. Thank and you, you want to be a chef? I believe you get the greatest joy from what you love doing, and cooking is what I love doing. Would your parents share the same passion you have? My dad was my greatest supporter. Unfortunately, he died last year. But I know if he was alive now, I'm sure he'll be proud today of seeing me following my dreams and my passion. If this tastes as good as it sounds, you're going to be the one to watch. You know that. I know that. They're all scared out there. They're all scared because you're a lawyer. <laughs> Are you done? I'm done. Walk me through this. These are the truffles that are... The uh, pumpkin pecan truffles with a little bit, little bit of maple syrup. This is a... Uh, I'm sorry. Why are you so nervous right now? I want this so bad. Everyone who comes in and says, I want this so bad, but... I want this so bad. This is... Do you have three degrees, right? I have three law degrees, and I'm on my fourth one. On your fourth one? Yes, I and am. And how old are you? I'm 33. And you're a little worried right now. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. This is beautiful. This is what I've been looking for. Thank you. <laughs> if it tastes as good as it looks. It, it's going to taste amazing. <laughs> then take a deep breath. <sighs> mm. Wow. The spices in there are incredible. Thank you, it's my own special blend of spices. I taste, is there all spice in there, a clove? There's a, an eighth of a teaspoon of clove, yeah. I taste that's fantastic, like. Thank you, thank you. Wow. Hi, chef. How are you doing? I'm just nervous and anxious, but I. Do I make you nervous? You do. <laughs> well, you know, it's a well-known fact that I'm not a big fan of desserts. And we did dessert here, so is this gonna change my mind? I really wanna impress you. I tell ya. If I'm disappointed, I may have to sue you. <laughs> okay, let's go with the cake. Very nice flavors. Thank and you. And you said not too sweet. Thank you. I tell you what, Terry. Yes, chef. Today, I won't sue you. Thank you, chef. Hi there, Terry. Hi, chef. You pleased with the way this turned out? I strive for perfection in all I do. You are picky, huh? <laughs> that is a great quality in a chef. Thank you, chef. I get up front a little hit of that lemon, which is nice and clean. And then you get that aroma as if you're walking through a spice market, sort of wafting through the air. Just, it's just very light and subtle. You have, I think, a great sensibility when it comes to flavors, and certainly with spices. Thank you, Chef. Yeah, I think the presentation, it works. It's, it's, it's a little bit predictable on the presentation side. That's something I think uh, needs a little attention. Thank you, Terry. Terry? Yes, Chef. The dessert that you presented today. Yes, sir. And I speak for my two colleagues here when I say this, is the best dish we've tasted so far in this competition. Oh. It is outstanding. My goodness. So I've got something for you. <laughs> Come on up here and get your apron. Oh my Come goodness. On up. Oh Come on up here. Goodness. That's it. Look at that. You may have to get rid of all those law books and replace them with cookbooks. There we go. So I'm guessing you're pretty happy. I'm happy. What a great way to finish. I like to see that. He's over the moon. It's going to be a great competition. Top 14 MasterChef Canada. You guys better watch out. <laughs>
next time on MasterChef Canada. 18 home cooks get a second chance to earn a white apron in a terrifying skills ah, test. Ready? It burns. That will take them to the top 14. I'm not going to fall apart and I'm going to get that apron. Or send them home. If you don't get this right, you don't belong in this kitchen. This is my last chance to get a white apron. This is do or die for me.